Amen. Tell your neighbor. Thank God for you being here today. Neighbor. Food. Food. For your soul. For your soul. Is your soul still in control? Let's talk about food for your soul. And is your soul still in control? Food for your soul. And is your soul still in control? Somebody say amen. amen. I know we're going to be quiet on that for a minute there. Yeah. One of the challenges, the ideal of ministry and the ideal of the issues of our souls and the ideal of that is understanding what levels we function in and how we function. It's making sure we understand that we already know that we are tripart beings and the ideal of who we are, made body, soul, and spirit, making me the ideal of the likeness of our Father, Father God, Father Son, and Father Holy Spirit, made by them and the ideal of how we operate and how he flows in those places. In the Old Testament, the word for soul is nephesh, the idea of a breathing cage creature that which gives appetite and desire, that is a part of our mind, that which affects our emotions and all those things. New Testament is suke, and the idea of the same thing, our will, our emotions, our desires, and a part of those things that function, say your neighbor, say neighbor, yeah. it's the you we don't see. It's the you we don't see. Yeah, say, say, all that stuff. All that stuff. And one, one of the things about soul food is kind of like the ideal that what, what we see in presentation is one thing, but what happened all together was in preparation behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. And anybody got good cook, they know that the good cook will make some food look really good, but you didn't see the work that went behind all that cooking done. You didn't know what went behind it. So even on Sundays and even on Mondays at our job and Tuesday when we go into work, what they see is a great presentation of what our life looks like, but they don't know what our soul that's right. They don't know what our soul looks like. So the challenge becomes that even though that we're saved, we're saved, my spirit is saved. Say, my spirit wants to be obedient. My spirit wants to be obedient. Because it's tied to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That once we accept Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit comes in. My only problem is that there were two partners there in the same house that was there before the Holy Ghost showed up. And they were rolling for a long time. They called my body and my soul. Yeah. And they used to hang out so tight that I couldn't tell who was leaving. Come on. Tell him, don't look at him like that. Him a day you ask yourself too. Come on. What in the world made me do that? Yeah. That was your soul. You ever ask yourself, I can't believe I just did. Yeah. See, there's some stuff in your soul because we haven't even dealt with that when it shows up, it scares you too. You didn't even know it was there. I didn't know I still could cuss. I mean, I mean, I didn't know I could still say. I mean, I didn't know I still could get the number. I didn't even know now I can still act like that. I didn't know my anger and my emotions were so out of line that they can still go beyond the Holy Ghost, go past the word I know, go past the presence of God, the mind of God, and the will of God, and I still can act the fool. Yeah. Excuse me. You still got soul. Say, I need some soul food. Soul. Not no chicken. Yeah. I need to get rid of stinking thinking. Yeah. I need some soul food, man. I need some soul food. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I don't just need some collard greens. I need something that's going to help me think right. I need something that's going to affect the inside so that it'll change the outside of my life. So that don't, what you see is presentation, but what's deeper than that. You know, like a good cook, when you buy something, you feel every layer of what they eat. Yeah. Okay, I'm talking about the real cooks, you know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about five-minute Betty Crocker microwave stuff. I'm talking about people that lay some stuff out. You know what I mean? It's kind of like when I go to make my lasagna, you know what I mean? I got to put my milk down. I got to stir my eggs. I got to take my time to put a little Lowry's in there, a little pepper in there. Now, in my mind, the thing is done. But my process, I got to work with it. Now, in my mind, I know my spirit already knows where I'm going. But my soul has to line up to begin to put some stuff in order. I got to break some stuff, take some stuff apart, lay some stuff, put some stuff over here, work with some things over there. Take him a neighbor. I wish you would work with your soul like that. I wish you would work on your soul. Because some stuff has to be broken. Some stuff has to be stored. Some stuff has to be pulled up. Some stuff has to be processed. Sometimes he has to lead us out and let us marinate in a quiet, dark place. So that my life can become meat and drink with somebody else. Yeah. And sometimes my enemy has to do some stuff like leave me in an oven for a little while. Uh, Tell your neighbor, just in case you got a little heat on you. You might be working on your soul. <laughs> 
He'll leave you sometimes in a hot place so that what's in you can be cooked off and the drawers will come off and all of a sudden things will be bare. And so now that your soul starts mirroring your spirit, that your attitude begins to change. And now the mind of God becomes your mind. The thoughts of God become your thoughts. The ways of God become your way. And then the will of God becomes your will. And don't you sit there and act like you don't have an issue of fighting with your will and fighting with your mind and fighting with your emotions. Because the last time I checked, Jesus in the garden was fighting with all of them. Yes. The Bible says he was troubled in his soul. Yes. Don't you act like you're so cool that your soul don't bother you every now and then. Some stuff will hit your soul that you gotta trust God and go, Lord, all oh my soul. It ain't even my spirit that's having a problem, but my soul got issues right now. Yes. See, my soul had a history that before God showed up and I was walking it out and they played games. Matter of fact, let me borrow the twins for a minute. Let me borrow you twins just for a second. I'm gonna borrow y'all for a second. Because you know what the challenge sometimes is? Is that we can recognize our own stuff, but we don't recognize the spirit in between our flesh and our body sometimes. And I wanted to use both of them. You guys should stand next to each other, man. Can y'all link an arm for a minute, man? Because, you know, look at the arm. Link an arm. You're on that link. Link. There you go. Because sometimes, you know what's pulling you? It's your body. It's your cravings, your hunger to be with, to do, to go, to have, and have it right now. And sometimes you can pull your soul. But then there's sometimes you don't even know why you ended up where you ended up. And it was just your soul pulling you to call that girl again, call that brother again, call that person again. Because something was pulling you. But see, the challenge in between that, when God shows up, something different shows up. Come here for a minute. I need to borrow you. Because sometimes we were led by our body or said by our soul. But when the Holy Ghost comes in, no, 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 no. I intentionally brought the one that was already knew who they were. Come on, come on. I intentionally was there with the one that understand that first day that they got here. I intentionally brought the one that knows what your soul like and what your flesh like. And I, I intentionally brought the one that was there at birth and know every process that you've been through. That it ain't scared of either side of you, either how you act when you act in your soul or how you act when you all in your flesh. But he ain't scared of either one of them because he knows that I'm stronger than both of them. And no matter if they start pulling, just pull a little bit. Just come with me a little bit. Hold his hand for a second because you're connected now, yeah? You got saved now. Now you got saved. So now you know where your soul go. Can your spirit not go? And know where your body go. Can these two not go? So if wherever you go. But if you build them, and the challenge of it is, which one you feed them the most? Uh -oh. <laughs> and you can tell because a thought will come up in your body. Oh. And it'll come past the spirit and you'll say no. But your soul will be like, what you say? <laughs> you know we went there before. Uh -uh. You know we got a history. Uh -uh. And if we don't run it past the spirit of God that's inside of our life, trying to work in our life, trying to change our life, because sometimes, even when the spirit tries to leave, you go ahead up here for me, man. Go ahead, look a little faster. Mm -hmm. You know what's interesting is my soul don't always want to go. Right. Uh -huh. I ain't telling them to let go. Uh -huh. They just chose not to. Uh -huh. And there's times that when your spirit wants to do his thing, wow. I mean, walk with the spirit, operate with the spirit, be obedient, submit itself. Your body says, I ain't trying to go there. My appetite, remember when? Mm. Wow. And then my soul says, you know, I remember you. And since we've been connected before, we will leave a soul hole. Mm. Yeah. And then we will let anybody come to me, brother, into our life, and we'll try to fill the hole Jesus. with our soul. With any man, with any woman, with any child, my fault. With any job, with any title, with any name, my fault. With any idea, with any premise, with any part, with any influence, with any amount of money you get, whatever you get. But the only problem is, we keep filling it with temporal stuff, so you can get a big house and still be empty. Oh. 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 You can get a big car and still have a hole in your soul. Let's go to Hollywood and kill themselves. You know why? We got stuff, but we got a hole in our soul. <laughs> Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. I need to fill that hole. I need to fill that. And there's only one person that can come fill that hole. Yes. Say, why don't you invite him to fill that place? Why don't you invite him to fill that place? Now, come on, bless his name right here. Come on. Yeah. I want him to fill that empty place, fill that void place. It's not that my spirit is so going nowhere. It's just some gaps in them places that the Holy Ghost wants to make up in my mind and my thought process. Because if not, the thing that I'm missing will dip, what's this will end up being tempted and pulled out of place. And it will pull you and us out of place. Yes. Thank y'all very much. Can you give it? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. I thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. All right. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate you too, man. You alright with me, man. Good, Pastor. Did you get the picture of that? Yes. Now which one is leading you? Which one you feeding the most? See, if all I watch is drama all day, 
I feed my soul drama. Yeah. All day. Folks, I'm looking at that rap music coming in my eyes. Nigga this, nigga that, that, that. I don't even say too much on the other side. I'm feeling my, you might not think you are, but you're feeding your soul. Yeah. I wonder if you feed your spirit as much as you feed your soul. Would you, would you, what, what? All right, I will say. You, would, would your soul look like a weightlifter? And your spirit look like a child from Ethiopia. Okay, that's all right. Let's move on. Let's move on. The soul is the truth of who you really are. Come on. Matter of fact, because of our life before Christ, our soul was the boss of our life. Amen. He was the boss. You didn't even, can I be honest with y'all? I didn't even like beer. It don't even taste good. But because my soul was connected to the people that I was around. I let my soul become in agreement with that stuff. Watch this, and I was willing to sacrifice my soul to be accepted. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Come on. The reefer, you know what, make you do straight stuff. And I know it did, and it got me in trouble, but I kept going back to stuff. I wonder how much stuff we still go back to because our soul is in an area that's still in control. Now, yours might not be drugs, but your attitude hasn't changed yet because your soul is still in control. You know what I mean? Your anger hasn't shifted yet because your soul may be still in control. Oh, you might be delivered, but you're so... See, the challenge of it is, I think jail sometimes, we forget we got to still deal with us. Amen. Yes, you got Jesus. You got, you got the Holy Ghost, but you still got us, too. Yeah. And most of our issues is not, matter of fact, because y'all saved and y'all know the word, so most of your stuff ain't the devil. Because he can't mess with y'all all at one time. No way. Because he ain't omnipresent and he ain't omniscient. Which means he don't know everything and he can't be everywhere. So if he beating up on Mary, he ain't can't touch me right now. So excuse me. Stop blaming it on him. It might be your soul. It might be your soul. And so I realized, I was talking to the leadership about this earlier, I said, I realized more and more, I don't know when the last time I heard a good message on the idea of crucifying your flesh. I don't know when I heard a good message on the idea of dealing with your own will. Yes. I don't know the last time a person came into us and told us, as particularly our culture, talk to you about your health of your emotions. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes, God. Are your emotions healthy or unhealthy? You can have them, but that don't mean they're healthy. Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. That's why Peter wrote it this way in 2 Peter 2 and 11. He says, abstain from fleshly lust war against your soul. It's not war against my spirit. Some stuff wars against my soul. My soul is made up of those places of desires, emotions, and thoughts that they deal with us and helps us understand some things. But also the Bible tells me the good side about my soul, that my soul wants God. Yeah. Yeah. Team your neighbor. neighbor. Even after all that, yeah. your soul will show up in worship. So, show that he understands who made him, who shaped him, who made him, who formed him, yeah. and he still wants to be back with him. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. The Bible says that my soul shall make a boast in the Lord. They didn't say my spirit, he said my soul. There's a place that which as your soul is getting delivered, it'll keep wanting to be delivered even more and more. Get a hunger for God, you know what I mean? Get a thirst for God. That's those times when you don't feel like getting up. Some of it's your spirit want to be there, but if your soul ain't in agreement, it's going to be rough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on. You know what I mean? Your body be like, I'm tired. Your soul be like, you know what? I don't really, I, I know we changed before, and if you get up and change, I'm with the change. Your spirit be like, I left already. Catch up. Come on. Let's go. And so we got to be able to be able to deal with those real issues. Say, see, inside of us. I realize that most people in the Bible that fail, they fail from inside, not outside. David didn't fall from the enemy on the outside. He fell from the enemy on the inside. And he fell from a soul that she was called desire. Come on now. Stop playing. It wasn't the devil. The devil didn't make him do nothing with Bathsheba. Come on, he didn't. He didn't. It was his own desire. Say desire. desire. And if we're not careful, some of the areas of our life, our desire will take our future. Yeah. Come on, even in the face of getting our man Moses, the most humblest cat on the planet, but his desire and his inability to control his emotions cost him everything. I wonder what your emotions have cost you in this season. Wow. So I gotta feed some areas that we don't normally deal with or talk yeah. with and address in the ideal of our life. Because if I don't, we'll end up missing it. Not because we were disobedient, just because I wasn't healthy. Yes. Oh, come on. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Amen. All right, I'm gonna let you have some fun. Anybody know this song? James Brown wrote it. He says, I got soul and I'm super bad. <laughs> okay, that's what all the folk don't worry about. It. Get you down the line. 
but he was writing it when he wrote it. He said, I got soul, but I'm super bad. <laughs> One day, man, you're going to realize you got a soul, but the Holy Ghost makes you super bad. Yeah. Just because my soul has a desire, just because it has a hunger, just because it has a thirst, I ain't got to do it. I can see it, look at it, and move away from it. I can put it down, drop it down, walk away from it. It don't owe me no more. I don't owe my soul anything anymore. I owe God my obedience because of his obedience for my life. That he laid his down and that I can pick mine up. That even when my soul says, come on, I said, if you ain't in agreement, I ain't with it. Yes. The last time you had a good talk with your soul. He said, emotions, this is the last time you take me out. This is the last time you make me say something I ain't going to do. Matter of fact, thoughts, you ain't going to take me the next way. I ain't going down that road. I ain't going to have a whole conversation before I go to have one. That's you and your soul having a conversation. You go, oh. Well, when they say that, I'm going to say this, because that ain't the Holy Ghost, because the Holy Ghost ain't manipulated like that. So that whole conversation you had before the conversation, that was you and your soul having a conversation. Your soul was like, we ain't trying to be hurt no more. We've been through that before. We've probably said that before. The Holy Ghost was saying, now stop it, both of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and so those issues is right. You know what? Really dealing with, who are you dealing with? I'm dealing with my soul. Because my soul knows the pattern, but it doesn't know the kingdom. <laughs> so I got to deal with, watch this, I'm linking all my soul ties with my own soul. And sometimes the soul tie ain't with another person. It's my own passions. Yes. It's my own function, my own patterns. Why? Because I'm going to end up wiping myself out. And I know it's soul tie because sometimes it's generational. That's why David got taken out by a woman. Solomon got taken out by a woman. Why? Because the same soul tie was from generation to generation. You ain't got to let no law. I know the situation in my family, what took out my family. And so I know the weakness in that area. And since I know that hole in the soul, I protect that one and cover that one. Yes. 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 Tell me, neighbor, neighbor, you should not be getting defeated, should not be getting defeated. by what took out your grandmama and grandfather. You should know whatever weakness they had might be a thing that you might have in your yes. soul. And by this time, you got enough word in you that you got enough word to deal with your soul. And you got to have word. Say word. word. That's why it says in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, the word of God is quick and powerful, trumpet to the sword, able to divide the soul. Oh. You know what is good about coming to church? I've chopped my soul off every Sunday. Every Sunday, that, that, that sword comes, and all of a sudden, that area that I've been drinking with my soul, I hear something strong enough to come in. Yes. Drop that attitude. I drop that cuss word. Yes. I don't think like that all the time. I need something to be able to detach me sometimes from me. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Does your soul need some food? Yes. 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 I'm going to make it quick because I know we have some long things going on. Genesis chapter 3 talks about this idea of this woman. And she helps me because what she does to me is this. She helps me with the first issue of the idea of what deals with our soul and what's wiped out a lot of our soul. He says, God knows that in the day that you eat thereof, your eyes are going to be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil, so that when the woman saw the tree, it was good for food and it was pleasant to the eye, a tree that was what? Desirable. Say, your desire. Your desire. Rob you of your future. My God. I know you want to say, say, no, 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 let me help you with this. Temptation is not sin. Yield it is. Temptation ain't sin, you need. Yes. Just because somebody offer it don't mean you gotta do it. Just because they show it to you don't mean you gotta chase after it. You ain't gotta compromise, manipulate, and do all kinds of stuff just because they put it out there. They put a bunch of stuff in your face that you ain't taking.
that, that you won't mind going around them. And watch this, the danger of it is, it sometimes comes by the words of conversations we let it in. Yes. Who you having a conversation with that's after your soul and ain't got nothing to do with your spirit? Matter of fact, while they're talking, they're getting on your nerves, but you keep listening. <laughs> because there's a part of you that's still wanting it all. Oh, yeah. come on. Yeah. You know what I mean? How was the party last night? What's wrong? What happened last night? What happened last night? So they, they, they don't keep on listening to everything. Because right. sometimes the adversaries is presenting enough stuff to get your attention. And if I get your attention, I'll get your attraction. And then I'll work the whole soul thing on you. It's kind of like a car. It's kind of like a car, tell you, you know what I mean? See, so what happens now becomes our desire becomes the start. Now you just saw it, but and all of a sudden, they, 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 all of a sudden, the alternator that is our thoughts. Uh -huh. All right. Now, now I felt it when I saw it, but the alternator kept it rolling. How can I skip a couple payments and make that? I won't eat this week for Tuesday and Friday, and then I'll be able to. Oh, 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 we the alternator. Wait a minute. I won't have time on Sunday. until you will in agreement to do it. And it wasn't, it wasn't that your spirit wasn't saying, come on now. You're going to bring up every scripture we know on that area. Matter of fact, we're going to bring some people around you at that moment to try to help you stay in the spirit and not go over to the role of your soul. Matter of fact, it's all going to, have you ever had the wrong people call you at the right time? Yes, 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 yes. You about to do something wrong and bring? Oh. <laughs> God has a way of making sure that even if you don't even say yes to the phone call, your spirit solved that. Check. <laughs> it's like, check. See what are you doing? In the spirit, I'm trying to help you not turn your soul over to what's going to wipe you out. Why? Because my spirit. That's how I know. Eve didn't want to lose the garden. For her soul ain't care. <laughs> See, sometimes what I think is that we think our soul is always in agreement with the Holy Ghost. Right. And most of the time it ain't. Wow. You got scripture. Scripture is the language you talk to your soul with. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's go. So when, when he gets to this. It's interesting because desire took out so many people. Like I said with David, incredible man of God, but his soul had control. Yeah. And it didn't have to have it all the time. But he, watch this, he didn't cut off the starter. Right. Saw that she <clears throat> Started the heart later, so I killed her husband. Okay, I can a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is get my will together and I'm going to tell Joab, don't bother me. Just put him where thing, get everything taken care of, call me when it's done. <clears throat> you know, your will can convince you to do some crazy stuff. Yes. And don't act like you ain't either. Because there's some times that, watch this, you went past your will too. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, then you ain't know it was wrong. Yes. You just willed yourself to call. Yeah. Willed yourself to go. Willed yourself to drive. You know where you was going and you know they were no good, but I was still going to will myself to the... Yeah. Oh, I'm right. I'm talking to the wrong side. I'm talking to the over here. You know me, me and you said be real. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I first came home from the military, man, I was going through this transition book. I was working on me, building my spirit. At the same time, my soul was like, hey, 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 I'm losing you. Yeah. Yeah. 
My partner came by and said, listen, man, Friday, we're going to go to the party. I said, oh, all right, all right. Then another person from the church came by and said, oh, Friday, we're going to the church. I said, oh, all right, all right. And I forgot I told both of them, yeah, all right. You see, my spirit answered to the church person, and then my soul answered to the party person. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all don't ever have those issues. I'm just talking about me. <laughs> and I'm so thankful the church person got there first. <laughs> that night, all five of my friends got shot. My God. Can you imagine? It was so. It was. I can't even take credit for it. I wish it was good. It was just that the person from the church was led by the Spirit to come get me first. Yeah. Can you take a moment and thank God for the Holy Spirit working on me, in you, in you, and not turn you over to your own desire? Even though we want to last five good minutes, if we were turn over to our own desire, we'd be, first of all, you'd be fired. <laughs> If you was well able to walk in your own home soul for five minutes at your job, mm, you might go post. <laughs> He'd be like, pow, pow, pow. hey, hey, I just felt it. I just felt it. I, I, the alternator of my desire had moved over to the wheel of the engine and we And this was scary to me. You got a whole generation there sometimes who don't realize that they say what they tell us they live by their soul, no even know. Every time they say, I'm feeling it. Uh, <laughs> it means your emotions are in the driver position. Yeah. Uh, come on, come on. Watch what he says. He says, listen, I let her see it, but then I got something, something got inside, it started her motor going. He says, I saw that her eyes were open, and you'll be like God, knowing good and evil. And then so the woman saw that. Then she says, watch this, it's good. Be careful when your soul starts telling bad things that they're good to you. Yeah. 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 I know that, I know that play I know that play the food look good, but it's gonna be bad in your high blood pressure. And you're going to have to take three or four pills before you get all that way down. Then you're going to have to tell yourself what to take. You know what's scary? I know a person, I'm going to say their name, but I know a person that loved crabs so much, they would take Benadryl before they eat the crabs. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Don't laugh at them, because what do you medicate so you can take what you want to take? <laughs> you know what I mean? We met it. Oh, I ain't that bad. It's only, one, it's only one thing from the office. It's only that. You know what? Ain't nobody going to miss this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Bunch of motor rack, what's one more? You know what I'm saying? Nah, right. You know, medicating your soul because you convinced your thoughts, and then all of a sudden your will went in agreement, and all of a sudden your desire took you. Now you're high bars on up. Why in the world did I take that? Yeah. Jesus. 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 <laughs> Somebody said, keep your body strong, keep your mind sharp, but keep your know your souls nourished. The true strength of you is not, not your muscles, but it's your spirit and the strength of your soul. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eve takes me out because, because he helps me see me. A lot of this ideas when she does is she's knowing good and evil, but she still chooses what's wrong. And sometimes watch this, we'll convince ourselves of what's right when we still know what's wrong. And why? Because I'm gonna tell you why. Because watch this, my body, my body's goal is self-satisfaction. Right? Now my emotions, their goal are gratification. And my soul don't know the kingdom. So now all of a sudden, these things are pulling that stuff that they have no alignment with what the will of God now is present in my life. Yeah. So say neighbor. Neighbor. Some of this stuff is a soul fight. Some of this stuff is a soul fight. Go ahead with me, Bert. Let me show you. Let me give you an idea what it looks like too. And this picture of Shechem when I was trying to read about that because sometimes what we don't know is there's soul ties in our life that we haven't got away from and dealt with. And sometimes a soul tie, you can be tied to two things. Uh, it's two things. One, you can be tied to soul tied to people or you can be soul tied to processes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. And so, so let me say, you're, so, so you're soul tied to people because you can't get rid of them. Even when they're toxic. Yes. Even when it's bad. Uh -huh. Even when you know it's not good for you. But your soul's tied to them, so you can't get rid of them. Then sometimes the process that you've been through, we keep on bringing them up even when God brings us our future. Okay, two people are going to say amen. God can say, let's go there. We'll start talking about what we were tied to. 
You know, it's kind of like we told Gideon, you a mighty man of valor, where are you at? I'm so tired to where I've been, so much jacked up stuff I've been through. I've taken on the identity of what I've been through, not what you called me to. Yeah. So now my soul is tied to those things, it's not tied to what you said. So your, it's not your world, it's not your word, I'm tied to my own world. Yeah. So, so, so over, over dealing with this guy Shechem, he's dealing with this idea that Shechem, the son of Hebron, the high fight, the prince of the country, uh, he saw her and he took her, he lay with her, defiled her, he raped her. And then the Bible says his soul claved to Dinah. Wow. That's a soul tie, man. Now let me say this real quick, they're both good and bad soul ties. Yeah. For real. The Bible says that the, the soul of David was tied or knit to the soul of Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah. What it meant was they were so locked in a covenant, watch this, that they were in agreement no matter what. Yes. And covenant can cause your soul tie. That's why when two get married, the two become one. Soul tie. Come on. We tied together. That's why even when people break up and all that, they still struggle when they see each other. Why? Because they done tied something. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we'll come in and go, part of me just showed up. Mm. Now we don't say that out loud, but you know. Yeah. And then physically, you can cross some soul ties. And I did say physically, because when your DNA ends up somebody else's DNA, you left some of you and some of them. Yeah. And you ain't mad at them. You mad that you left some of you with them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Only problem with that, we gave too much of ourselves away. Yeah. And we mad because we ain't got a whole lot of ourselves left. Yeah. 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 Okay, Pastor Dave, let's move on. Let's, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. So the soul tie with a person situation, soul tie can be a linkage of a soul or a realm between two persons, which brings you forth to both either beneficial or a negative result, either through pain or for purpose, for carnality or for a covenant. The idea, depending upon what it does and how it's functioning, the idea of our life. And soul ties can go through this process. Again, good ones was Moses and Joshua, Elisha and Elisha, Peter, James and Jack, all of them was tied together, spiritually and relationally. So it gets to those places. Now in the text, it helps me understand this, that he said when his soul was tied to her, but he raped her. Uh -huh. When he raped her. Wow. Let me just park right here. And anytime a woman says no, anything after that is rape. Yeah. Yeah. What I said was, anytime after a woman says no, anything after that is rape. Yeah. Just want to make sure that's clear. All right. My hand clap, that's all right. All right. He says, look, he says he loved her and he loved her. That's, that's how scary the soul tie is. The soul tie is so strong, he did her wrong and he still desires to be with her. Then he spake kind to the damsel. So Shechem spake to his father and said, get me the damsel to my wife. And Jacob heard that he had defied Dinah to his daughter. Now his sons were, in the, and were with the cattle in the field. And Jacob held his peace. Say, excuse me, it's more than one soul tie. Because Jacob got soul ties too. Because uh, how your daughter get raped and you don't respond? Come on. Yeah. 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 Oh, shoot. Come on, come on. See, sometimes, watch this. You can watch a situation happen, but because you're so tired, your life has been so jacked up, you can't answer it in nobody else's life. So failure is so big, we can't answer some stuff that show up in our children. Oh, God, come on. We don't even want to say that. Don't nobody say that. Don't nobody say that. Don't nobody say that. What we do? We tied to what had happened in our life, and we can't even deal with nobody else's life. And even though they hurt and they're struggling, they're falling and they're failing all over the place, but we don't want to show up and deal with it. Why? I'm so tired to my mess. Wonderful. Here's the other flip side with Jacob. He was a master manipulator, too. So if I stay in the house and when they come in, I'm mad. Come on! Yeah. You imagine boys coming in from the field? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> what's the matter, Dad? They were raped. How long ago? This morning. It's 8 o'clock at night. I know. Mm, my God. Now, 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 notice now. I ain't left the house, though. So I'm transferring my anger, my attitude, my to my children so that they go into action. I know we don't want to talk about this because every now and then you see your child, so if you're your children that you look at them and you see you, you go, Dad. They got it, Dad. Dad, I got my attitude. Dad, I got my anger. That will make me deal with myself. I don't even like, you know what? I talk, every time I talk to you, I hear me. So Jacob is like, man, I know they defy the God of my daughter. And now his son's coming in from the cattle, and he don't even go nowhere. He just tells them. Then the daddy of the boy show up. This 
time, you know he had to be so tired and jacked up. You raped my daughter, and you show up at my house the next day. Oh, shit. Bail me out. <laughs> that means you don't have to. You, are you, you know saying? You don't have to bail a brother out. He's gonna be like, where Pastor Dave got prison mentioned. <laughs> the word has been expanded to sell by B. <laughs> he is preaching up a storm every Sunday on sell by B. How do you get this? Somebody touch one of his children. You got a soul tie your level of compromise. The dude knocked on the door. Hey, what's up, dude? My daughter. What's your daughter? You already slept with her. What we want to make a deal for? Yeah. <laughs> he says, Jacob held his peace till they came in. Came where his father's Jacob and went in. Go ahead, Brooklyn Bird. Look what he says. He says, and when the sons of Jacob came out to the field, they heard it. And the men were, watch this, it never said Jacob was green. Wow. You know, you become so unconscious to watch this drama that drama don't bother you. You have a soul tied to drama. Matter of fact, so much so, when things start going good, you say stuff like, it's about to get bad. Yes. Are we so tired of poverty that we don't even think prosperity is a so possibility? Oh, okay, wait a minute. By the way, we part this here, Third John chapter two. He says, "I wish above all things that you would prosper, be in good health, but even as your soul." Wait a minute. Stop now. Back it up. If your soul ain't prospering, you probably ain't either. So, so, so why, why get my spirit is powerful while I'm back together? There's just some stuff in my life ain't going up to my soul. Go up. <laughs> The soul of those, my son Shechem longs for your daughter. Pray you give her to wife and make marriage to us and we'll give you our daughters. We'll, you give us your daughters and we'll share them and you'll share us and our land will be your land. Go ahead with me, bird. He's cutting it all the way down and then Shechem said to him, all right, your father and brother, let me find grace in your eyes. Say to them what I'll give you and ask me never. Matter of fact, he told him at one point, Shechem says, whatever you want for her, I'll pay. You know what's so scary? Sometimes you'll sacrifice your soul and give up all you got. And ask me never so much a doubt, and either I will give according to you and send to me, but give me the dance. His sons of Jacob answered Shechem and said, His father deceitfully said, Because you're not. Now, now tell you me, baby, you gotta watch out who you're hooking up with. Because there's some folk, I mean, you're good, you're good. You know how to make some situations work for you. But every now and then, you run into somebody that's better than you. <laughs> This is what I'm gonna do, then they're gonna do this, then I'm gonna do that, then I'm gonna do that. You just don't know they've been planning what they're gonna do to you for the last three months. <laughs> so you ain't dealing with Jacob C, and so you know if he had manipulated, then they master manipulators. So they tell him, because you have defiled down in the sister, they said unto him, We cannot do this thing. Give to our sister the thing that she needs. And he said unto him, We cannot do this thing. Give to our sister. 
then he goes on to say this, that is not to be uncircumcised, but in this he sent to you, if you will be like as we are, every male of you to be circumcised, and we will give you to the daughters of our land, and you will become one people. Next one before we burn, let's pass the kids real quick. But, but we will not do this even if you want to be circumcised. Then they took the door. Then he gave the door over to the people again. Yeah. Say how many times? He's going to let his soul time. Take you out. Take you out. We will be one again. And then their words will please him or him and his son. The young man preferred not to do the thing because of the life in her. You know what's scary is there's some people that support soul ties. Yeah. And they, watch this, they call the neighborhoods. Yeah. 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 You know your son on drugs, why give him $100? Yeah. I'm a neighbor. And you're helping a soul tie. Matter of fact, you're helping to tie it up too. Yeah. Come on. Wow. They became a neighbor. They, 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 both of them. Jacob becomes a neighbor. Hamar becomes a neighbor. They know the issue is bad, but they're still both feeding it and funding it. Can you excuse me? Did you stop feeding and funding soul time? He says in 34, it came to pass the third day when they were all sore from being circumcised. Watch this. He said, Bible says, Don's brother came and took every man with a sword, killed everybody in the town, wiped everybody out. Say they killed everybody. They killed everybody. They also had a soul tie of being angry. Yes. And all of them, that anger trickled down even to the sons. Because yeah. remember, Jacob was a fighter. Right. Boy, he fought from the day for, matter of fact, he fought before birth. Yeah. Yeah. Snatched the hill he saw. Yeah. So that fighting spirit that trickled all the way down to his children. And they were fighting all that time and they were still in it. And it goes all the way in them, all the way down to that process. And all of a sudden, they don't realize how bad the soul tie was. And I could wish to tell you that it ended well. He said he wish he could tell you that. He he you that. Could tell you. But it didn't. Because they didn't control their emotions. Because they didn't deal with their own will. Because they didn't deal with the soul of who they were and the eyes of all this issue that was going on. It ends in a bad situation. And what scares me most of all is that you got to learn how to go to people who know how to be able to put you in a place and spark the space in your soul that will help you get well. I look my soul well. And wherever they help me to get my soul well, that's where I'm going to be. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. See, my soul is from somewhere else. And I'm sure of one thing. I'm trying to end up just where my soul is trying to go. Yeah. Back to God. Yeah. Amen. The Bible says it this way in the ideal of our soul. He says it makes some textures and context in the ideal of who we are. But the Bible says this, our soul has to be redeemed. The Lord is the redeemer of our soul, of our servant, of his servants. None of them that trust him will be desolate or go back. The Bible says he restores my soul and he leads me into a path of righteousness, not even for me, for his name's sake. God. Psalms 25 says his soul will make me and you dwell at, let my soul dwell at ease. It comes to a point that because we've been around God, we come around and worship and around his word so much that even to the point that as a deer pants after the water brooks, so does my soul pants for you, O oh God. The Bible says, my soul will be thirst for God, the living God, that when I shall come and appear before God. Psalms 4, 4, 4 2 says that why cast down, O my soul? Why are you disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him. Yes. Tell your neighbor, yeah. even when your soul don't understand. Even when your soul don't understand. Break out in the praise. Break out in the praise. Yeah. Yeah. Mighty work. When my soul fainted within me, I remembered that the Lord had heard my prayer, and he came unto me. I want you to stand to your feet for a second. Do me a favor. Can you bless the Lord just for who he is? That your word says. There is freedom. There is freedom. Power. In the name of Jesus. And right now. I repent. In my, life. in my life, I release, I release every, thought, every thought, every emotion, every, emotion, every, memory, every memory to you, to you right, now. right now. I ask you, I ask you restore, restore everything, everything the, enemy the enemy has tried to take from me, take from me. food, food. Soul, ties. soul ties. I break, I, break. I, settle. I settle 
Celebrate the Lord. 